We're here already. We were supposed to meet before 9 a.m. Armando and I got a little too excited and got here just a little bit before 8 a.m. The others said they weren't far behind, but something happened, which I'll discuss later. More importantly, they're here now. Mondo, Serge, Christian, Eric, grab a snack and a drink. Be excited. Let's get this started. Destination. Desolation. Wherever the wind blows, I follow the sunset to the mountain high, to the valleys low. The Desolation Wilderness is a massive federally protected wilderness area in the El Dorado National Forest and Lake Tahoe Basin Management Unit. It's located in El Dorado County in California. This is a backpacking trip to enter Zone Number 10, Leland's, in the Desolation Wilderness. We were going to hike around the rockbound pass trail to and fro. We have three days to finish it. We got this. Due to the amount of footage I have taken, this episode will revolve solely around the first day. I would have to cut too many good clips just so I can fit everything into one video. I didn't want to do that, so I'm dividing the trip into two parts. The main objective of the first day is to get as far as we can into the Rockbound Pass Trail. We have the energy and the mindset to do it. It's always a good idea to get as far ahead as we can early so we don't have to hurry, nor do we have to worry later on. Hey, that rhymed. I'm a poet. Don't you know it? Alright, that was cringe. Secondary goals are to find a sweet spot to camp and survive without getting eaten by bears. If I could name this episode differently, I would call it Wonder Lost because of the amount of time we wasted wandering in the wilderness, lost. Actually, even before we started hiking, the day started off terribly. Christian's group was lost for two hours. Armando and I had to wait for them. We didn't have any signal, so for the longest time, we didn't know what was going on. But they made it here safely, so praise the Lord. <laughs> Last time I remember, Serge said, well, we could probably cut through here. We were roaming around without any knowledge of where to go <laughs> right. for about two hours. Huh? It's like everything's going bad lightweight. I know. 
No, but it's fun though. It is fun. I'm having a good, like I'm having a good time. Yeah. It just... Our tour guides, even after pretending to know, they know. We all know. They don't know. Yeah, yeah. Where the heck we're heading. So we all decided that it's best to just go back to the last landmark we saw and figure things out from there. RJ, take a picture. Yeah, this is yeah, a dry quarter beat. You can't? Go for it. Nice. It's, get, it's getting... We saw in the forecast that there was a slight chance of rain, but the day looked really, really good earlier. So we thought we were going to be lucky and be able to avoid it. But of course, when it rains, it pours. Armando wants to set up camp early, 2 p.m. early, because he believes that the point of the trip was to chill and relax and not go on a crazy hike. Serge, Christian, Eric, and myself want to keep going because we want to actually finish the trail, and we are super far from doing so if we don't keep going. Which side do you agree more? After getting lost, getting rained on, and finally finding the right trail, we compromised. We all agreed that at around 5 p.m., we will start looking for a good spot to camp. At this time, we didn't have a proper understanding of how far we've gone or how close from the entrance we still are. Two miles. I'm not kidding. Don't judge us. The Groneberg brothers brought a castle-sized tent. We were able to play some ping pong in there. I'm just kidding. We played cards while listening to a sermon after dinner. I brought this $20 tent I bought from Amazon. Not too shabby, eh? Serge and Armando brought themselves hammocks, which I thought would be super uncomfortable. But after sleeping on an even and stony surface for two nights, I'm here to acknowledge how ingenious their ideas were. Loki, this trip was to celebrate mine and Armando's birthdays, which was the day before. So, I asked Armando to prepare some food so we could have a decent meal on the first evening. And boy, he did not disappoint. All the equipment we're using are all his as well. The food was delicious. Ang sarap. I'll end with this note. You know, even after getting lost, wasting all our energy, even after getting rained on, even after all the arguing and complaining and blaming whose fault it was, someone even threatened to leave <clears throat> Armando. I was still very glad to be there. Why? Because at the end of the day, I don't get to go out on an adventure like that and see God's creation and stay overnight in the wilderness that often. I've never even actually gone backpacking before. So, whatever the experiences we end up experiencing, I will always be grateful to 
be a part of it. And it wouldn't even really matter whether we achieve our main goal or not. Because just being out and about is already a tremendous blessing. Here's the thing, nothing worthwhile is easy. If it wasn't worth your time, why even do it? Yet, if it was too easy, it wouldn't be worth your while. Right? Watch out for part two next week. Maybe.